Good morning, humans. It's Friday, October 11th, and it's early. Usually not like that early. I'm actually really grateful for the flight time that my dad snagged me. But today's the day that we are flying Hippo across the United States of America from Seattle, Washington to Portland, Maine, where she will stay for this next upcoming week and then the week that we are moving. She has absolutely no idea what's about to happen to her. She's already sniffing her carry baggage, like it's not even a big deal, which is my goal. You guys saw how she handled going to the vet. So luckily this time, the reason I went to the vet, we have our pills. The vet said that like she takes these orally, but I can like crush up the pill within food and since Jack's like not awake yet, I thought we would try food first because I have five of these pills. So if that goes wrong, I'll just never do it again. And I'll just like do it orally, but I can't hold her and force her to take a pill by myself. So we are going to try to put this in her food because they are starving. Look at Miss Allie right now. She's so hungry. She's like, mom, come on. Um, Let's try to crush this up in food. I think I like opened the capsule or something, but I'm not really sure. Okay, I'm just gonna keep an eye out and make sure she finishes that whole thing and then we're gonna wake Jack up and get her in the carrier. I'm having her bring her like favorite toys, like this sloth. And then she has a bunny that she really loves. She was actually playing with it last night. That's why it's by the door, so. She's very particular about her toys, but we know which ones are her favorite. Yeah, that's all gone. You gobbled it right up, baby. Okay, let's get Jack up and ready to take me to the airport. Meanwhile. You guys, this is really great. I was really hoping she was gonna use the bathroom before she got in her carrier. And now she is. Girl! Oh, It's okay. Oh, Miss Sally's trying to get you out. She's like, don't worry, Hippo. I'll see you on the other side. It's been all of 15 minutes. So the vet did say like an hour before should be plenty of time. So maybe by the time we get there, she'll be fine. I don't really see any like signs of calm compared to the last time. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. All right, hips don't lie. We're ready to rumble. Getting through security was a little bit rough. 
I was prepared because the last time when we flew out to Seattle with the cat, they told us we had to take the cats out of the carrier and we didn't know that before, but like I was prepared for it now, but they were out of the carrier for like 0.3 seconds and then they let me put Hippo right back in and she was kind of paralyzed with fear, which was really sad. So I knew that this time around, it would be like easy enough to get her out of the carrier to put her right back in. But I take her out of the carrier, I go through the metal detector, like the special one like on the side or whatever, and they swab my hands and the screen that has the results of the swab was red and it said alarm on it. So I couldn't even put Hippo back in the pet carrier because what set it off was Hippo and her cat carrier. So I had to sit with Hippo in my arms with people going by, noises, like it was so stressful for her. And I had to sit with her in my arms for a solid five to seven minutes. And finally I said something, I was like, I need to put this cat back in its carrier. And they looked at me and they're like, okay. And they just let me put it back. I was like, are you kidding me? Then they proceed to find a female officer to give me a full on pat down because I went off with the alarm or whatever and test all of my personal belongings. I also also couldn't get my personal belongings they wouldn't let me touch them so the whole belt was backed up and things were falling off of the belt and I was like oh my god please my laptop and so I asked I was like can I go get my stuff and they were like no you can't touch your stuff and I was like well can you get it for me <laughs> because things are falling off the thing and like people are like whose stuff is this I was like it's mine but I can't touch it it was just like all while holding hippo who had just had the most traumatic experience of her entire kitty life someone finally gathers the stuff for me and they have to like wipe it down and test it and including like the cat carrier they had to like wipe down the cat carrier and test it they had to pat me down and then finally they let me through so that was not the three second experience that i was um predicting guys i'm not joking i honestly thought the drugs would never kick in it was literally just within i think the last 30 minutes like over an hour since i gave her the pill in the morning that she has calmed down like she is very sedated right now hi hippo Hi, baby. She's definitely awake and responsive. Like, so she's not sleeping. She's just very, very chill right now, which I am so happy because she was panting. She was breathing really heavy. And now her breathing looks like back to normal. So I'm just like, it's just healthier for her, quite honestly, to just not be in such a state of stress. But I am at my gate, believe where I am supposed to be. I'll keep you guys updated during my connection. I connect in Charlotte, South Carolina. I'll catch up with you guys then, my friend. Long story short of what happened, it was just delay after delay because of maintenance issues. And then eventually, because that went so long, they couldn't get like airplane pilots because like they timed out, like they've worked too many hours and then they had to call like the on-call people to get there on time and it just wasn't happening between the flight crew and the pilot. They all had to show up and, and then 
no one was. So it's been an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> it was three o'clock in the morning and they called it, I think at 1.30 um, and said that the new time for the flight was 5.15. And by the time I made it to a hotel, checked in, got hippo situated, then I would have had two hours of sleep if I could fall asleep. And I know myself, I just wouldn't have fallen asleep until 30 minutes before I had to wake up. So it just wasn't worth it. Not just money wise, but quite honestly, like moving hippo, she was so comfortable. Like she was curled up against the seat. She'd finally settled in. Like uh, the pills had already worn off hours before and she was so chill. She was such a good girl. Like I'm so proud of her. And the pills are definitely gone now. And like, she's not meowing because she understands like she's in her carrier and like this is her situation she never slept on the pills they didn't knock her out but they made her very calm so she was aware of everything that was happening she just was more chill about it so it's not like she like woke up and was like where am i she's still really good so i'm so happy i just when the delays were happening i wasn't thinking of me i was like what if hippo freaks like what if she has to go to the bathroom what if i didn't give enough food water definitely an emotional roller coaster but a little less horrible than i thought because hippo's so good she's been so good yeah i've just been like talking to like jack and my mom and dad called gabe for a bit so the time has gone by really really fast so it doesn't feel like that and honestly it's 321 now and my flight boards about an hour and 15 minutes which feels like nothing because it's been eight hours in this airport so let me show you guys hippo you've been so good look hello you've been so good definitely looks freaked out but like she has sprawled my friend she has made this place her home but yeah if i get back on here to talk it's because they've delayed me again but we're gonna knock on wood because nothing around me is wood right now that, that doesn't happen so i can't wait nap i really want to nap You know 